Hey party people, welcome back. This video is going to be a little bit different from the other videos. What is this? There's something wrong with the house. I don't like change. Because I went to estate sales, yard sales, garage sales over this past weekend. And while I did pick up some cards, I did pick up some other stuff too. And in addition, I finally got this card back from PSA. That one is going to be a special one. If you check out this video here, uh, you might find out what that card is. All right, it's a card I pulled straight out of a pack and finally sent it into PSA way back when. It's finally this past weekend on Saturday. It finally came back. That's going to be the last card. Uh, the other cards I got are going to be right here. I'll reveal those. And also, I thought, why not? Let's show off some of the other things I picked up at this uh, at these different yard sales. This is going to be a ton of fun. I can't wait to show you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We want to get to 750 subscribers so we can do another uh, nice giveaway. Or actually several giveaways for 750. Because that's a special number to me. I want to do that. But we can't do it. Uh, before we get to 750 subscribers. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This video is going to be a ton of fun. I can't wait to show you what I got. And guys, stick around. This is going to be awesome. All right, party people, let's tackle this stuff first so we can do the cards and then end with that Pokemon card right there. Really, really happy I finally got this card back. So let's start right over here. Let's start with this one. Uh, before you ask, uh, yeah, I took the pin out because I wanted to be able to clean the strap and check the battery. If you look back here, it is a Disney AccuTime watch it's actually quite heavy i was surprised at how heavy this is but it's disney it's Minnie mouse uh i gotta put a new battery in to see if it works otherwise i might have to tinker around uh there is a seiko movement in there so i think i can get it working especially if all it needs is a battery i'm gonna clean this up uh i don't need it but looking online i can get anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars for this watch so the five dollars i paid for it plus the two dollars for you know the battery yeah i could make a couple bucks i could triple my money so i thought why not i want to get into you know getting rid of more of the stuff i pick up so that's going to be a nice little project for me and it's disney someone is going to buy it Next up, I will do whoop, right here. This was a grand total of a dollar. It's probably directly from China, but it is a nice, heavy, brand new uh, watch strap. And it's actually not that bad looking. It's for a bigger watch, that's for sure. Uh, and it came with a tool and some extra pins. So, I mean, for a dollar, for a dollar, I'm not going to complain. This actually might have been two or three dollars, but either way, for a couple bucks, I have a new watch bracelet and I got some spare parts and a spare tool. Why the heck not? Let's put the Disney in there too and move on. Uh, there we go. This watch right here, it is a simple fashion watch from Gossip. But as you can see from the strap, this has never been worn. Never, not once, has this watch been worn. So it's got a leather strap. It's got uh, battery movement. But look, it hasn't even been used yet. I bet if I take that out, let's do it right on camera. Let's see. Come on. But if I take that out. You failed your heart. Ah, well, I guess I got I got to replace the battery, but I'll put that back in. 
But either way, batteries are only, uh, you know, $2. So $2 plus the dollar I paid for the watch, that's $3. And this watch is selling between $10 and $20, just like the Disney one. So, you know, chance to double or triple the money. Why not? I mean, and I'm not a cheetah fan at all but i know women who are i do not <laughs> buy women's clothes would not make that mistake again so there you go these next two watches are actually really cool again five dollars and this is actually a swiss watch and i don't know if i can get it ticking again uh, but if I wind it up a little bit and shake it up, I bet it'll start ticking. This watch is probably a hundred years old. And it's possible that it is gold. It's also possible that it's not. There is a very small stamp in here. I believe that says like US patent pending. Um, but there is a little stamp in there. Uh, I didn't see anything on the case back on this other than the maker, but it did look pretty legit. Uh, so it could be like nine, nine karat gold. It's not a super expensive watch, but it's a cool one. And if I can get it uh, working, this will be a nice little watch, if nothing else, to put on display because it is really old. It's got a ton of character. It's really cool. And there we go. Where is the microphone? I hope you can pick up the ticking. Well, that watch is ticking again. Now, this one, for also $5, it's actually gold. You're gonna have to really zoom in. I don't have that ability, uh, but it's rolled gold. Uh, it's, real, it's like gold fill both these clasps are as well as this dot this uh case itself it's a whoops it's a little tiny waltham watch and this is white gold filled or rolled gold and let's get that movement going yeah it is ticking so for five dollars this is because it's a waltham watch and there's a teeny bit of gold in it. It's probably like 30 or $40. It is a child's watch. It actually fits on my daughter. So worst case scenario, she will, uh, she'll be one flashy looking girl with a, with a very expensive old timey brand watch. Uh, this watch is probably 50 years old, 60 years old, but it's really cool. It's really clean. I don't have to do much in terms of cleaning. And will it say 10 karat or 14 karat? Yeah, it says 10 karat gold filled. So that is white gold. That is really cool. And it's working. So that is also a really cool find. Um, if I can't clean it up and sell it, my daughter will have it. Why not? It's five bucks. Next up, I bought this for myself. It'll look great on the shelf. It is world's greatest literature. It's Last of the Mohicans. Uh, it's from the 1920s. So it is a book that's about 100 years old. But sitting on my shelf like that, uh, with this book being a great book and the movie, good lord, uh, R-rated. But uh, if you're old enough to see it or if you can sneak away and see it, it's actually an amazing, amazing story. Uh, it... It's just, this book looked awesome. And for a dollar, for a dollar, that'll look real good on my shelf. Uh, my wife loves to read. If you recognize Mario Puzo, he wrote The Godfather. Uh, this was completed by Carol Gino. So this was a book that he had started, but died before finishing. It... <laughs> I didn't look too much at it. It seemed right up my wife's alley. Uh, it, it's pretty much like The Godfather, but in the Papal States. It's all about, you know, taking care of 
family first. Everything before the family. Uh, sounds very Godfather-like anyway. So that I got for my wife. Again, for a dollar, worst case scenario is I donate it uh, to a local book um, book drive and I'm out a dollar. But my wife is definitely going to read that first. Uh, and then back to our regularly scheduled programming. The cards. So, like I said, we're going to do that last. I'm actually going to go from the bottom here. They had uh, at this yard sale, first off, the guy was super, super nice, but he wanted uh, a lot of money for his cards. He did have some really cool stuff that was just, you know, out of my range. I wasn't in the position to buy some of the better stuff that he had, but, you know, good Lord, he was asking a lot of money for some cards. Um, I don't want to get into that because he was really nice, but he did have... Uh, these cards here. I pretty much broke even. I paid because I bought the books there $22 um, for the books. Actually $24 for all this in the books. Uh, 15 uh, 16 uh, less than $20 for all the watch stuff. So like I said, I'm doing pretty good I think. Uh, but for the cards I bought two of these. Mr. Padre himself Tony Gwynn I didn't think I'd be buying more of these cards, but then I saw these and I know, I know that I could probably get rid of these for 10 bucks each, which these will go up on eBay. I'm sure eventually they will sell for $10 each. Uh, it's Ricky Henderson and Tony Gwynn. These are not remakes, but uh, the artist interpretations of their rookie cards. All right, this one's JK5 and this one is Efoot. Uh, don't know either of those guys. Uh, like, I know Ermsey, which was that Clayton Kershaw, which is awesome and is sitting on my shelf out there uh, for everyone to see. But these two cards, I mean, this is... I can get I can get my money back just in these two cards because I think they're about 10 bucks a piece. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll grab some of the other cards. They're, they're like $5 a piece, so why not? What is next? What is next that was essentially free? It is a Cole Strange Select Rookie card numbered to 49. I mean, I thought it was really cool. It's a Patriot. I am a homer. And, I mean, it's relatively low numbered. It's less than 50. And like I said, when I when I paired it up with these two cards, I'm like, it's, I'm essentially getting it for free because I know I can sell those. There you go, Cole Strange. A actually, really pretty card. Could have been a better player, but I was not the first person there. And uh, he said a couple people already came and picked through. Uh, so I, you know, I I got what was left. But there was some cool stuff left, like this Paul Goldschmidt Bowman Chrome. I believe this is 2023. It is 2022, but it's numbered to 250. Paul Goldsmith, uh, I like him a lot. He is going to be a future Hall of Famer, and it's a numbered card. It's in really nice shape, so I get no complaints there, because like I said, I paid $22 when you include the two books, so 20 bucks for the cards, and I think I can get $20 just out of those two. So, it's like getting it for free. I wasn't complaining. If this is what I think it is, and it is, I actually got this at a uh, consignment shop. It was the only one worth getting. They actually had a decent amount of cards, but the only one that had any kind of value for what they were charging was this Rafi Devers rookie card. It is a Topps Chrome Refractor uh, of the 35th anniversary card. And it looked to be in really, really nice shape. This card they were asking $2 for, so I paid $2. It's going on eBay for like between 4 and 7 So I'm like, that's not a bad deal at all. I like Rafi Devers. He's a good player. I'll hold on to that. Uh, but these last two cards were from the guy I bought these from. And these were, again, they're like $5 cards, but thrown in. Check this out. It's an Elements card. 
so it's metal. It's numbered to 79, and it's an on-card auto of Michael Carter. Running back used to be for the Jets. He's now one of the backups in Arizona. But I think uh, they drafted uh, Benson as the backup to James Conner. But James Conner, I think, is going to be more of a goal line guy. Benson, I don't think he's going to be ready right out the gate. Uh, and Carter, Michael Carter's got the experience, he's got the talent, and I think that offense, because I believe Marvin Harrison Jr. is also an Arizona Cardinal, I think there's going to be opportunities for everyone on that offense to score. This was, it's worth about 5 or $6 right now, I think, when the season starts, uh, and you'll see some flashes if that offense is clicking. This is automatically not going to be a $5 card anymore. Uh, not a card I want to keep forever, but it is really cool because it's metal and it's on card auto and it is numbered. But this is to save until the season starts. So hopefully I can make some nice little profit on that one. And if not, it's only 5 bucks. It's still a really cool card. The last card here is also a $5 card. As you can see, it is a refractor of Tyler Stevenson, except it's also an on-card auto. Very, very cool. I don't have uh, tons of on-card autos. And when, like I said, I've said it like eight times, $20 I think I can get just for those two. So these were essentially free. So I grabbed it. Not too shabby. Not, not the best player in the world, but also not the worst. It's like a five or six dollar card right now, but you never know. You never know if he, uh, you know, steps his game up. And worst case scenario, you know, I'm out a couple dollars. It's really not that bad, especially if I think I can get my money back just from those. So low risk, uh, you know, not too high a reward though, but very low risk. Now this card. This card is awesome. This was a card I pulled last summer from a $5 pack. I sent it in the PSA with a bunch of other cards that came back a while ago. Again, that video that popped up, check it out. All right, that's I sent all those cards in at the same time. And this card is this Pokemon Brilliant Stars secret rare Charizard look at that card at the time I had pulled this card it was like two hundred dollars raw uh, by the time I got it back this past weekend uh, it's like a forty or fifty dollar card raw check that out it is a pretty pretty card I saw the centering is being really good I didn't see any obvious flaws, so I'm like, this could get a PSA 9, you know, get it graded, and then sell it. You know, I was really hoping it'd get a PSA 10, had no idea what it would do, but I had told myself, if it's a PSA 10, I'm going to hold on to it, but if it's anything less than a PSA 10, I'm going to have to sell it eventually, and if it scores really low, I'll just crack it open, sell it for 40 or 50 bucks, because... I mean, if it's not a PSA 10, I'm not making my money back because I paid five bucks for the pack. I paid uh, $31 to have it shipped and graded. So $40 roughly into this card uh, at a PSA 9. I'm probably only getting 50 bucks for it. So it's I mean, I'm really not making much money. However, if it comes back a PSA 10, this is like 125 to 160 dollars and bam love it so much that this came back a psa 10 this card is being held on to because well it's it's the coolest charizard i've ever pulled i haven't pulled that many charizards uh but i'm gonna hold on to it it's a psa 10 i mean why not that is awesome so anyway that was my weekend cards PSA, couple books, some watches, some old watches, some a little bit of gold in here, 
but some stuff for me to clean up and get rid of. Uh, this was a ton of fun showing you guys. I hope you had fun watching. And if you did, uh, again, yeah, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We want to get to 750 subscribers so we can do uh, a good set of giveaways. I want to do something nice for 750. That's a big number to me. We are getting so much closer there. We don't. We have less than 20 to go. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I would really appreciate it. The channel would really appreciate it. But whether you subscribe or not, you've watched this video. So I want to say thank you. And I will catch all of you guys on the next one. See ya.